Tickets are on sale now for the Flatirons Food Film Festival. The event celebrates food-centered films and includes speakers, discussions, and even delicious food for you to enjoy from home. Joining me now is festival director Julia Jun. Julia, this is so great to have you here, and we know that this is a unique festival. So tell us about some of the films you'll be featuring this year. Thank you, Kelly, for having me on. And we are going to have 13 film programs. And so some of the highlights might be, um, uh, let's see, First Cow, which is a drama that's getting Oscar buzz. And one of the co-leads is going to be with us for, you know, a discussion after the film. And, uh, and then also we have um, Meet the Future, which is about cell-based meat, which is really something new, but I think is really going to emerge. And then also we have uh, Setting the Bar, a uh, craft chocolate origin story. And that's about, you know, some of the top craft chocolate makers going into the Amazon, uh, trying to find that wild strain that's going to make their wonderful chocolate even better. And uh, both um, First Cow and uh, Setting the Bar are two of our two of our four movie nights where we pair um, restaurant takeout and meal kits with uh, with the film. So say with Vitel that is you know set in France, we're going to have French cuisine, French dinners, and we're going to have an opera program before that that has French music. So, you know, we do this kind of pairing stuff to get food into the program. Um, Virtual kind of makes it challenging, but virtual also gives the great opportunity from anyone in the U.S. can actually see almost everything. Yeah, that's great. You know, food clearly is such a big part of the festival. I'm hungry even just talking to you about this. And, and you kind of are hinting at this, but you guys have come up with some creative food paired events that also give people a chance to support local restaurants. That's huge. So tell us about that and why that's really so important. Absolutely. So we have some festival, you know, wide um, food food festival pairings, like um, the inventing room that does, you know, molecular gastronomy is going to have this special um, movie treat box with candies that are reminiscent of classic um, movie theater candies. And we're going to have four dinners where, you know, the dinners actually match the themes of the film. So with Funky, which is about, you know, um, you know, one of the best handmade pasta maestros in the country. We're having, I think, three different pasta meal kit dinners, and they're going to be really easy to make. So it, it's it's like that. You know, the post is paired with First Cow, and it's just going to be great. It's going to be delicious, really. I really love this idea. Now, of course, the festival, virtual this year because of the pandemic. Can you tell us also how the pandemic has impacted the festival? Well, you know, we actually were very aware of um, the, the difficulties that the pandemic has posed for both restaurants in their business and then also for people who are, you know, isolated and at home. So we started in April uh, doing a dinner and movie series every month. So there would be our typical festival experience with the movie, with speakers, live speakers, and with, you know, food that's paired with the movie. And we've been doing it ever since and we're bringing it into the festival. That's great. Now, if people want to attend, what do they need to do to get tickets? Oh, it's all online. So, you know, they can first go to our website and then they can link to our ticketing site. And the ticketing site is also where they view the movies. So it's all in one. Great. Well, Julia, we are so grateful for you joining us and making us all hungry at the same time. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate your time and thank you so much and good luck with the festival. A reminder that the much. yeah, thank you. A reminder that the Flatirons Food Film Festival runs January 28th through February 5th. We'll put more information on our website cbsdenver.com and we'll be right back.